<laughs> well, we got a big show today. <laughs> It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. If you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm, I think it's humorous. Oh, yeah. fuck, this is gonna be laughs all night. Is it just something you pick up from the pharmacy? Yeah. Have you ever looked on the Good RX and see how much it is? No. You haven't? You should. It's, you get coupons, basically, like really good coupons. Right, but am I gonna be paying $30 for it like I was? I don't know, look. Instead of nine hundred and fourteen dollars, might. Let's let's start. I'll be angry. I want to know right now. Well, I know I'm going to search for it as we start. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, we'll just wait. Price with GoodRx coupon eight hundred and fifty-two dollars. Damn, dude, you save like forty bucks, <laughs> sixty bucks. Fuck, that's dumb. Let's see what it is at Meyer. Nine hundred and fifty-six. So they're charging more. me even more. <laughs> Well, all right. Time to find a new insurance, I guess, which is impossible because I'm through the marketplace. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm fucked. Sounds frustrating. Which sucks because I just had a doctor's appointment for my diabetes. Mm -hmm. Fat. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not the fatness. I've actually lost a little bit of weight. Really? I've lost 10 pounds. Nice. But. ah. My A1C, which is what the Trulicity is for, went up two points. It's supposed to be like like around 5.7 or something like that, mm. 5.6. Oh. Mine's at 9.6. I don't know what A1C is. Last time it was 7 something. My blood sugar level, which oh. was... No, not no, that's not my blood sugar level. Okay. My blood sugar levels, though? No, I don't know what A1C is. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. Oh. I just know what matters for diabetes. Diabetes. Okay. Last year when I got diagnosed, it was they were in the three hundreds. This time, four thirty seven. It's going up. Yeah, how's that work? I don't know. I had them in the one hundreds. It's so. getting even more diabetes. Yes, that's weird. Eventually, they're gonna have to cut off my toes. Uh oh. Yeah, you'd or be like feet. Craig Russell. Who's Craig Russell? The guy that used to work in production at Town Square. Oh, okay. With diabetes, you'd remember him. We talked about him before. A guy that like got fired for yeah. using a Johnny Depp photo or something. Yeah, shit instead of yeah, uncopyrighted photos. <clears throat> Speaking of Johnny Depp, man, I got a list today. Getty images. Yeah, you do. I got a list of thirty-one. I think it's thirty-one, Ben. I think so. Nice. Thirty-one bizarre facts about your feet about diabetes. <laughs> Celebrities. Oh. So we. Do you want to do it? Or you want to catch up mm -hmm. first? Oh, yeah. Sorry, uh, we didn't record last week. I was sick. Yeah. Was... I actually got sick myself. Did you really? Yeah. Head cold? Yes. Yeah. Is that what you had? Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's I had cool. the same exact thing, and we didn't even come in contact with each other. Oh, you. Till work, Friday. You work in my space, though. So that's true. I was that's... probably. Getting Probably germs. how I got it. I guarantee it. Germs everywhere in there. Yeah. Bill gave it to me, though. We were making out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just the one time, though. Other than that, he was just talking at me. Okay. Wiki, 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 boom. But it, was like, it was like four days worth, five days. I woke I'm up, still coming off of it. Yeah, I woke up Friday feeling a little better. I can breathe through my nose. Yeah, I'm still having issues. Taking Mucinex. Mm. Had a headache. Mm. My throat was on fri fire, and I felt weak. So yeah, I had a headache one of those days, but I just got high and got over it. Nice. Nah. <laughs> All right, Ben, let's do some celebrity uh, bizarre facts. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, number one, Ben. Oh, oh I saw so the movie Goose Ghostbusters. Goosebusters. You did? Yeah. Okay. Well, how was it? Frozen King Empire, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah. How was it? It was pretty good. Uh, I went into it with low expe expectations because I heard it sucked. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. My fiance, I think, enjoyed it more than I did. Of course, but. women are simple minded. Yes. 
You're an idiot. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah. Um they had the old cast back. Uh Slimer's back. It it's all pretty good. The, the mushroom, Slimer's back out. Marshmallow him. people. Nice. Yeah. The marshmallow man or whatever. Something. Well, now it's little guys, yeah. so they can market it. They did the little guys in the first one too. Yeah, yeah. it's for toys so for cute. kids. So cute. Got to have the stuff for kids. Little rambunctious little marshmallow what, man. What surprised me about the movie? Don't, don't point at you. Don't spoil the movie. No, 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 no. This is before the movie even started. Why are you pointing at me so much now? <laughs> now I noticed. I don't know what the movie was rated. I'm guessing PG-13. Mm-hmm. But they showed a rated R Zendaya movie where she's like, where two dudes are like going down on her at the same time. What? This was happening before Ghostbusters. I was like, what the fuck? Because there's a movie or there's a scene where she's sitting on the bed. There's in- two boys on each side of Zendaya her. Zendaya is sitting yeah. on a bed? Yeah. A boy on each side of her. In Ghostbusters? No, this is in the... Before the movie, this is a trailer. It's a trailer. Yeah, for a movie. Why didn't you say it's a movie trailer? I did. You didn't say that. Yeah, and I said it was rated R. Oh, yeah. Uh, you just it, you said all that weird, in my opinion. But are you high? Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trailer before the movie. They're yeah, going down on her. Yeah, because it sh- well it shows them kissing each one of them kissing her, and then it shows her lay back. And enjoying whatever's going on, so I'm guessing they're going down. On I need it. to find this trailer. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's kind of weird that they play a before a kids R rated movie. movie before on a PG thirteen movie, which or is a trailer. Sorry, based towards or like geared towards sexy kids. children. Yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah, <sighs> well, I guess that was the most surprising thing from the movie experience. I was know, that, that so hot? She's okay. What do you mean. Have you seen Dune 2 yet? No, have you? No, I don't Have you to. seen Dune 1? I'll never watch Dune 2. Okay. I was so bored with the first one that I'll never oh, watch okay. the second one. Oh, okay. Fine, whatever. Yeah. I started watching a show on Netflix, um, Three Body Problem. Oh, yeah. That's the big hit show right I now. I was like super hesitant about watching it. I was like, so am I. This looks kind of dumb. It looks dumb, stupid. You know? Yeah, stupid. It did, it, I said stupid. It looks dumb in the, in the trailers kind of. Yeah. Yeah, this probably isn't gonna be any good. So I watched the first episode, and second episode, and then I was like, "Okay, it's pretty good." Okay, I uh, stayed up till like it's got f- Sam three one Game night. Of yep, three three a.m. one night watching them. I still got like Jeez. two episodes left, but after it's, staying it's up till three a.m., you still have episodes left. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're like hour long episodes. Okay. I started late at night. Right on. So you're saying it's worth? I would say a try. so. Yeah. I have nothing to watch right now. I know. So. That's kind of why I started watching Yeah. Exactly, okay. Exactly why I started watching it. Okay. Is it gory or anything? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm, maybe a couple parts, but not really. Okay. It's kind of... It's like, I'm just wondering if my fiance will be into it or not. She'd probably like it. Okay. Because okay. it's simple? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's pretty easy to follow, honestly. Okay. Just kidding. It's kind of hard to follow. No, oh. it's pretty easy to follow. All right. It's just interesting. Okay. It's, it's intriguing. Let's say that. Oh, I watched something that's on Netflix. <gasps> uh, the movie 65 with Adam Driver, finally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For, and? It's got dinosaurs. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. It, was that movie in theaters before it hit Netflix? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was like a year I'm ago. surprised it was in theaters and not just a streaming movie. It came out Based on, on HBO even. Like, oh, really? S- probably six or eight months ago. Oh. I remember watching it on HBO. Are you sure it wasn't Netflix? Uh-huh. Because I'm pretty sure it's been on Netflix since it came out. It might have been Netflix. Though. I think it was Netflix. Okay. <laughs> you might be right. But yeah, it was definitely in theaters before that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it too. It wasn't... I also watched that with very, very low expectations. So right. It was good for what it was. Yes. Definitely. What else? What else have I watched? Mm, I don't know. Not much. Oh, Fallout starts... Tonight, yeah, I saw that. Tonight slash tomorrow. Yeah. Apparently, timestamp, it's Wednesday. At every it's uh, every week it's getting released? No, it's it's all going to be out. Oh. Apparently, they're- It's an Amazon show, right? Yeah, my friend said they released it early at 6 o'clock on today, Wednesday. Oh, nice. So, like, yeah, I, was, I hmm. asked my fiance if she thought that looked interesting, and she did. Oh, so. it looks so good. Even though it was 
a very it's like a 15 second teaser trailer that yeah. we saw. The trailer's really good. Uh, it was only 15 seconds. The main trailer's oh. good. There's like okay. one really good one out. It's long. It's like two minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll avoid that. I feel like I can't I can't start it tonight. Because then I will be up all night. And oh, yeah. I, I will, will have to finish it. Yeah. Because I'm such a big Fallout fan. So the only thing games. I'm worried about with it being on Amazon is the fact that it's also home of The Boys and Gen V. Those shows are not up my fiance's alley. Oh, is there going to be some gore in this one for sure? Probably. Yeah. So I'm. that's the only thing I'm worried about. Well, she can fucking suck it up. <laughs> You know, or I'll just watch it by myself. Just say, hey, every time there's a gory part, you just give me a blowjob. There you go. Throw a yeah. blanket over your head. You won't. That's what I attention. want is to become have blowjobs be correlated correlated with, with gore. Gore. Yeah. It's a little um, fuck. I just had the thing. The guy with the bell and the dog. Uh, Pavlov. Pa- it's a little Pavlov. Yeah. Pavlov's dog yeah. trick. So every it time kind of gore, just, my dick's gonna get hard. I'm just gonna be like, blow me, blow me, <laughs> and she's just gonna immediately just pull your pants down and start blowing yes. you. No matter where you're at, like you guys are walking down the streets of Grand Rapids, yeah. and some guy gets sliced in half oh, somehow by a car. Okay, and she immediately needs to give you a blowjob <laughs> as that's happening. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Yeah. That'd be that's a really good Pavlovian tool right there. That is. Fuck. Damn. When I get a girlfriend, I I'm gonna just do take that. her take her to dates at the hospital. You should. Yeah. You should. The ER. There we go. Yeah. Or the yeah. intensive care unit. Yeah. Yeah. Like where burn victims and shit are. Oh, yeah. Look oh, at all dude. that gore. You you, sh- you guys would need to get like a double wide uh, wheelchair so she can give you, <laughs> you know, blowy while you guys are riding around <laughs> yeah, looking at all exactly. the gore. Or you can just sit on a bench. You could sit on a bench. Have There's a- benches in the hallways there. You'd get more action if you rolled around through and That's saw true. all the different types of gore. I just need to see one thing, and then it's off to the races. Mm. Yeah. You just need to walk through the door. That's all you got to do. Exactly. It's one time. Just oh, Smells of blood in here. <laughs> oh. Babe, I think, I think I smell blood. I bet it's gory around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. That sounds fun. All right. All right. You ready? You ready for some... Should we call it a gore job job, (laughs) episode? (laughs) Gore job. All All right. right. Bizarre facts about celebrities. Okay. The first uh, half are... They're kind of... Some of them are kind of long. Then they get short. All right. These better be good. They better be. Uh, I I, I put my trust in you. All right, Ben. Osama Bin Laden, number one. (laughs) Not a celebrity was a major Whitney Houston fan. Oh, shit. According to Cola Booth, who claims to have lived with Bin Laden for a few months. Did you pronounce Shia LaBeouf wrong? No, it's Cola <laughs> Booth. Uh, quote, he said that he had a paramount desire for Whitney Houston, and although he claimed music was evil, he spoke of someday spending vast amounts of money to go to America and to try to arrange a meeting with the superstar, she said. Music was evil. She even claimed Bin Laden planned to kill Bobby Brown, whom whom she was married to at the time. Wow. Interesting. Number two, Colin Farrell. Yes. Was the once, penguin. Yeah. The Comes one. out this fall, even though yeah. they've been promoting it pretty heavily. Yeah. Also, did you see they shelved the John Snow show? Yeah, again? I did. Saw that on Instagram or Facebook or not Instagram, but Reddit maybe. Probably. All right. Any, uh, anyways, uh, Colin Farrell was once an attempted murder suspect. Oh, shit. On The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Boo. <laughs> Farrell revealed in a. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Really. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, wow. No way, Colin. No way. <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. No way, Colin. <laughs> uh, God, where was I? Uh, Farrell revealed in a True Confessions game that as a teenager he'd been brought in for questioning about a, an attempted murder, which, by the way, was never solved because he looked like a pencil sketch of the perpetrator. Oh, shit. Never solved, huh? He did it. Yep. Uh, Colin said, I was in Sydney, Australia, and I was pulled in by, by the cops, and they showed me a photo of the pencil sketch of the guy that he had, that had attempted the murder to this other, or attempted to murder this other gentleman. 
had beat him up and left him in his own apartment and set the apartment on fire and split, thereby oh, leaving the guy to burn to death, and it was me. They said, uh, what do you think about that picture? And I went, I think I'm in trouble, Farrell revealed. Yeah, it was terrifying. I was there for about six hours, and then thankfully a friend of mine had kept a journal, and that particular night and that particular time we were at a party on the other side of town doing ecstasy. Oh, nice. Uh, that's cool. Not cool yes. for the person that died in that. Right. Definitely. It's not the thing that you want to say, though. If somebody says, well, how, what do you think about that? I think I'll be trouble. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of, yeah. Um, okay, Those that was that was a good one. I better run. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, you got me. <laughs> number three. Maybe I'm the last to know this, but... I only just learned that Snoop Dogg was charged with first-degree murder in 1993. Snoop- murder was the case that they gave me. Exactly. Snoop's bodyguard at the time, McKinley Lee, uh, shot and killed Snoop's rival gang member, Philip Walder Merriam, uh, from Snoop's car while Snoop was driving. According to Lee, Walder Merriam was reaching for his gun and fired on him before he could draw his weapon. Snoop's lawyer claimed also claimed self-defense and said Walder Merriam had threatened Snoop's life numerous times complicating things though was that snoop didn't immediately turn himself in instead he chose to perform murder was the case at the mtv vmas about a week later (laughs) nice (laughs) i think i'm in trouble (laughs) police went to the awards to arrest him but he was able to guilty (laughs) drop that beat Uh, he was able to elude them and showed up at the police uh, station to surrender later that night hmm after a 1995 trial, both Lee and Snoop were acquitted. Wow. Wow. Speaking of, what do you think about all this Dr. Dre shit that's been happening? Dr. Dre shit? You mean P. Diddy? Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't really know much about it. I know Dr. Dre's sex hands aren't clean. I know there's boys involved or oh, something. Yeah. He's just fucking dudes all left and right. Okay. Meek Mills, uh, okay. Usher, uh, just a bunch of like famous rappers and it's oh, part shit. of their like hazing to become oh. big for diddy is oh he needs to fuck them that's speculation wow. or that's yeah. what they're saying at least. allegedly allegedly crazy though there's yeah, a video of some dude i don't know if it's real but it seems pretty real because i've seen it on a couple other outlets like podcasts talking about it okay and it's some black dude who was at one of diddy's parties and everybody was like passed out like hard Okay. On drugs, I don't know, something yeah. like that drugged, and he was awake, and he, like, could hear Diddy fucking Meek Mills in a room, and he recorded them, the noise of it, like, uh, 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 and the sound of the ball slapping against oh, his God. ass and everything, and them just, like, getting into it heavy. All right. Yeah, it's pretty hot. You should look that video up. I'm good. It's just I, outside the door. You don't see anything. Still, I don't want to hear witness it. a rape. It's not a rape. That is a rape. No, they they definitely like Meek. Meek's gay as hell. Yeah, but if he was underage or something, he's not. He's a big boy. But in the video, yeah, he's a big boy. I don't know. Then what's the deal? What? Why is then? Why would it, why would it be a big thing about him having sex with Meek Mill if it was? Because they think that thing. he's forcing other people to do it. He's raping. Uh, them. Right, <laughs> like you yeah, were saying. So I don't, I don't think, I think it. it sounds. It sounds like from all the stories, Meek Mill's into it though. Oh, uh, okay. Here, here, I know so much about rap culture. Yes, you do. Anyway, speaking of, as a kid, Terrence Howard witnessed his dad stab a man to death while they were in a line to take photos with the department store Santa in what became known as the Santa Line Slaying. Oh, shit. Terrence said the man, who was also there with his family, made a racist comment to Terrence's father, uh, Tyrone, after he thought he skipped the line. Tyrone was arrested and pleaded self-defense he ended up being convicted of manslaughter and spent 11 months in prison. No Damn. wonder Terrence Howard's so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've. I don't know if I've liked anything that guy's been in. Mm-mm. I hated what him else? in uh, Iron Man. Oh yeah, Hustle and Flow. I don't even know if I yeah. saw Hustle. I didn't and Flow. either. <laughs> anything with is Terrence that the show? Like, Hustle and that's Flow. That's a movie. It's a movie. What was the show he was in? Empire, probably? Yeah, that was it. Why do I know so much about him? I don't know. I hate that, man. (laughs) 
Okay, this one, I don't know who this is. But I like the name. Okay. Leader Meester. Leader Meester. L E I G H T E R. Leader. Lighter. Lighter. Leichter. Leichter. Meester. M E E S T E R. Made headlines when it was reported that she had been in, uh, born in jail as her mother was serving a sentence for helping smuggle 1,200 pounds of weed out of Jamaica. What did you do to that girl? I licked her, mister. Licked her, mister. Get her. Nice. That'd be a good. Yeah, I like that one. Good job, Ben. That was that was pretty funny. That was very funny. Uh, Meester yeah, later nice. clarified her mother gave birth in a hospital before returning to prison, with Meester spending Meester spending <laughs> three months in a halfway house. Meester's aunt, who had been arrested with her Meester, mother, Meester, Meester, <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> Actually escaped prison and became the first woman on the U.S. Marshals' 15 most wanted list in the U.S. My family has a crazy history, probably the craziest I've ever heard of. Meester admitted to. And Mister, I, Mister, <laughs> get this off of me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Still can't believe they're making a second one of that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? Mister, Mister, get me out of here! No. It's from Happy Gilmore. Oh, is it? Yeah, when he drops his grandma off at the old folks home. I literally watched that last week. I, I watched that Friday night. Oh, really? Yeah. The whole movie? Or did you miss parts? Did you uh, miss the beginning when he drops her off at the old folks home? I might have. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe. Um, can I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? You can trouble me for a glass of shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Read the name tag. You're in my world now, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> ben Stiller. Yes. All right. When Angelina Jolie was 22, she hired a hitman to kill her, Ben. She was suicidal. What? Oh, shit. But she was worried that the people in her life would blame themselves if she died by suicide. She found a hitman in New York, which she said wasn't difficult, but he ended up talking her out of it. Real hot. Uh, she said he was a de decent enough person and asked if I could think about it and call him again in two months something in my life changed and i figured i'd stick it out wow and she got that fucking brad pitt dick did probably. it say how much she paid no it doesn't oh okay it doesn't ben yeah. Ooh. That's, what, that's what i want to know here's a beauty julia okay. roberts okay who would uh later star in runaway bride was yes. really a runaway bride Oh, shit. In 1991, days before she was going to marry Kiefer Sutherland, Roberts called off her wedding. On that day, she was to, supposed to be married. She instead went on a date with Jason Patrick, who was friends with Sutherland, but had recently been uninvited from the wedding, then ran away with him to Ireland. Did they get married? I don't, or did she run I don't away think from that so. one, too? Uh, probably. Dumb whore. I'm out of here. I only do this for the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I live my movies. <laughs> uh, Nick Cannon has claimed multiple times that Mariah Carey would sometimes play her music when they would have sex. Nice. In particular, her song Hero. Nice. I've never heard that one. She sounds fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. she does. I want nothing to do with that dumb yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just title this episode Dumb Bitches. Give me your hero, baby. <laughs> I wonder what her song sounds like. Her hero song. We probably have heard it, I bet. I doubt it. The only thing I've heard from her is a Christmas ballad. What is it? How does it go? Uh, All I want for Christmas is you. That's the Mariah Carey song? I think so. Okay. Ooh, that sounds baby. right. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those high notes. What was that? <laughs> oh, um, Usher also listens to his own music while having sex with P. Diddy. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, some may say this is this would be rather narcissistic, but yeah, he told Oprah Winfrey, "I think I do a pretty good job at it. I'm a good motivator for the moment." He revealed he uh, he puts on the playlist during sex, saying, "I like to set the mood." As for songs he likes to listen to, he named Lessons for Love and Dive, adding that climax would be a good one towards the end of the session. Wow. It's, that is narcissistic. That is. 
But shit, if you really like that tune, I'm gonna put me on. <laughs> hey, you wanna listen to some Marvin Gaye? No, I wanna listen to Usher. I wanna listen to Usher. And strictly Usher. He speaks in third person. <laughs> Usher don't like that. <laughs> Usher likes his own music. <laughs> Uh, Fran Dresser, you know who she is? Yeah, okay. the nanny. <laughs> something like that, right? Yeah, something. Claimed that when she was younger, she was abducted by aliens who put a chip in her head. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Because that's hilarious. Why? Wasn't well, that funny? I don't know. Because normally they probe, but she got a chip. Oh, What's oh. that? What do you Fuck think? yeah. I got a... <laughs> oh, where's my chip mug? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about right now. Put a drink in this mug. Oh, it says chip on it. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good good <laughs> reference there. Oh, I forgot what I was fucking saying. Sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, why are you yeah. laughing at that? People get fucking abducted by aliens all the time. You don't know they all get probed. Daddy like. <laughs> That's chip. <laughs> um, and the same thing happened to her ex-husband, Peter Mark Jacobson. You know, it's funny because Peter and I... Both saw aliens before we knew each other. Doing the same thing, driving on the road with our dads. She recounted. We were both in junior high. A few years later we met and we realized that we had the same experience. I think that somehow we were programmed to meet. She continued. (laughs) That they would both have uh, scars in the same spot where the chips are, though... The aliens programmed us to think. The scars were from something else. Mm. Okay. So then how do they come to the conclusion that it was aliens? You can tell. It, <laughs> you can just tell. That's an alien Aww. scar. Number 11, Ben. Okay. In his book, Van Halen remembers, uh, uh, Van Halen member S- Sammy Hagar wrote that he had an, had an alien abduction experience too. He told MTV, aliens were plugged into me, man. It was a download situation. This was long before computers or any kind of wireless. They weren't even wireless telephones. Looking back now, it was like, fuck. They downloaded something into me. Or they uploaded something from my brain. Like an experiment. <laughs> That's Van Hagar. 12. Speaking of Van Halen... I can't believe I didn't know about their legendary Lost Weekend, where they created a contest to have two fans party with them for a weekend. Oh, shit. The guy who won brought his best friend, who, like him, was underage. One was 19, the other was 20. And uh, had a wild weekend with Van Halen, where they were provided with essentially limitless alcohol, cocaine, and women. Awesome. That is fucking awesome. (laughs) Apparently, at one point, a groupie did a strip tease for one of the boys, Kurt Jeffries. And then David Lee Roth told the groupie to take him into the shower for a while. Ooh, nice. And they went into the other room, and MTV Network executive Richard Schenken, who was coordinating a camera crew to film parts of the weekend that ended up being blocked from some of the wilder events, claims they rubbed egg salad all over her. Okay. (laughs) You don't want that in your privates. Probably going to get an infection. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. That's bizarre. I guess that's... Bizarre. That follows the title of the article. The but I think like Led Zeppelin put fish in some chick's vagina. Like Why wouldn't fish? you? I Why wouldn't know. you? You know, it's already smelled like it. So, if you can, do it. If you're a rock star, yeah, yeah. Not in this. Day. Even if you're not, like, me go home too. and ask your fiance. Like, you mind if I put a fish up there? Ooh. I just want to see how much you trust me with inserting things into your vagina. Yeah. I'll wait till she's dilated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Ben. Barbara Streisand cloned her dog Samantha after she died using cells from her mouth and stomach. Twice. She has to dress the dogs in different colors to tell them apart. She has cloned dogs? Apparently she has two of them. What the fuck? Um, Diane von Furstenberg and her <laughs> husband... Barry Diller also cloned their dog to create twin Jack Russell Terriers, which cost over $100,000. Holy shit. Uh, Taylor Momsem's band mate, ban- Ben Phillips, was revealed that once revealed that Momsem had her dog neutered, then brought his testicles into the studio and set them on fire. <laughs> Oof, I don't know. Who Great balls people. of fire. 
Goodness gracious. Hi-oh. All right, next one. We can't 100% confirm this, but it's been reported that Brad Pitt brings his own toilet seat to hotels and unfamiliar houses as it grosses him out not knowing who used the bathroom before him. Sounds kind of like you. <laughs> Something like you would do. Oddly, yeah. though, there were reports in 2005 that Pitt had bought a jailhouse toilet with a matching sink and wanted to install it in his home with Jennifer Aniston, which Aniston apparently disagreed with. I don't know what that That's has to weird. do with anything. Jailhouse toilet. That seems yeah. kind of oh, weird. I found out my... Uh, I realized thanks to a listener of the Ben and Eric podcast yeah. what my poop situation is or like what's causing it oh yeah somebody helped you out with that my diabetes medication oh really her husband was on it and he had the same side effects I guess that makes sense so good yeah they took him off it but they're keeping me on it maybe you need to get off it I know but that's something me a little on cheaper. It. No, this isn't from Trulicity, the shot one. This is from just the Uh-oh. medication I take. You still shit in your pants? Yeah. Nice. Proud of you. On a daily. Not really. I so wish. You got to go through a lot on it. Or... Yeah. I got a really shitty uh, laundry. Huh? Nothing. So you got really shitty laundry? <laughs> I was going to say washer, but mm. washer. Saying, just saying washer doesn't sound right. You know, rinse out your poopy underwear maybe in the the toilet before you throw them. Ew, in the toilet. It's cleaner water than it's cleaner than fucking throwing your underwear in with just the poop stuck to the underwear, or do it in your bathtub or something <laughs> or in your shower. Rinse it out in your shower. No, before. I like my washer to be a poop fest. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Next, I don't actually throw my poopy underwear into the to- uh, into the. Washer. I I wish I could believe you, but I just don't. I don't. Billie Eilish was almost named Pirate, and it ended up being one of her middle names because when Billie's mother was pregnant, Phineas was in a pirate phase. Phineas, her brother. Oh, the guy that she fucking produces all of her music. Yeah. Made all got all those awards. Yeah, uh, right. they called me Pirate for months, and they were kind of planning on naming me Pirate. She revealed, and soon before I was born, my grandfather died, and his name was William, aka Bill Billy, and that's where my name come came from. Her full name is Billy Eilish Pirate Baird O'Connell. Pirate Baird, not Pirate Beard. Baird, B A I R D. Oh, O'Connell. That's a long ass name. Yeah, that's too many names. It's actually three many names. Yeah, you only need two of those. Yeah, seriously. Oh, well, three, I guess. You only need one. Americans if you're a star. Amer- Americans usually do middle names. Yeah, Europeans don't though. Let me just see Billy. Oh, Billy. Wait, which one, Eilish or Idol? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, speaking of John Snee. Kit Harrington didn't know his first name until he was 11 years old, Ben. He'd always gone by Kit, and he didn't realize his name was Christopher until he filed or uh, filled in an exam form at school. There was a space for my name, and I put down Kit Harrington because that's what my parents had called me from day one. And the guy came up to me and said, no, your name's Christopher, Kit recalled. I was like, I think I know. And they all went, no, 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 it's Christopher. Well, then what did he put his, what did he, what did the teachers do in the other grades? This is an exam for him. Like, you have to have your correct name on it. Oh. You know. Okay. 11 years old sounds like the, about the right time where you're going to take one of those little pamphlet tests. Ah. Where you got to fill in the Scantron. bubbles. Scantrons. Scantrons, yeah. exactly. It's sixth grade. Uh, when asked why his parents wouldn't tell him his real name, Harrington said, I haven't got a clue. I think that they could see that I wanted to be Kit, but Christopher was a bit of a tradition. Okay. Good for you, Kit. All right. Yeah. Kitstifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, we've heard this one before. George Clooney used to have a 294-pound pet pig named Max. He did? Yeah, we've talked I, about this. I don't remember that one. Who slept in his bed. He bought him uh, for his girlfriend, Kelly Preston. Then kept him after they broke up. A pig-faced f- nose. Exactly. Clooney was highly attached <laughs> to the pig and once joked about marrying him if he could fit it into a wedding dress. 
Once Max even saved his life before an earthquake. About three minutes before, Max woke me up and kept nudging me like he was trying to warn me. That's how smart he is, Clooney recalled. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Okay. After this one, they start to get shorter. They're very much, much shorter. Kanye. Ooh, I just watched his documentary today called Genius on Netflix. Oh, I'm sure that's really fucking good. I loved it. I don't know what's it about. I didn't even know that shit was coming out. It's about uh him making beats and not getting recognition as a rapper. Well, cuz he's, he's fucking he dumb. A rapper. He's crazy. He's nuts. Well, they didn't know this back then. No shit. Oh, this is like his life this story. This is before his first album came out. Oh, this is not current. And then he made like five beats that are on jay-z's the blueprint and that kind of got him that like blew him up blew him up yeah. and then he still wanted to rap they wouldn't let him rap and then he got his first they finally decided to let him rap after mtv did a thing on him mm-hmm. and got in a car accident got in the car accident and broke his jaw in three places mm. and then did the song through the wire and that kind of get it <laughs> yeah they, yeah through his wired jaw yeah, yeah. get it and that kind of pushed out his album, and then the rest is history. I guess spoiler alert. You know? Yeah. I guess we're just ruining the whole documentary. I guess and, I don't have to watch it The guy was now. documenting it the whole time. Yeah, I don't want to watch it now. I liked it. I never would watch it anyways. I haven't watched the third part, which is like after that to recent. Uh-huh. Um, but the first two parts were what I just... All right, maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, it's worth it. If you like, if you like behind the scenes music stuff, like people in the studio and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, Damn, I do kind of like that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty. It made me want to make rap music again. Does he just like talk fucking highly of himself the whole time though? No, That's but he does. Like. He does at at a point. Like I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus for a reason. <laughs> I'm a genius. You know, Jews, Jews run, Jews run <laughs> all of Hollywood. <laughs> and you they know, make the weather. I don't. I don't think Hitler was that bad. Yeah, I don't exactly. think it, Hitler brought so much to the table. I got a new rap, yo. I did not see me becoming a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kanye taking the mic from Taylor Swift at the 2009. Pretty good. That huh? was good. You should uh, do that. <laughs> at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards will go down in pop culture history, but I was yeah. shocked to learn that this wasn't even the first time Kanye had done this. In, what? Two, in 2006, he'd gone on stage at the MTV European Music Awards after the French group Justice won Best Video and taken the mic from them to rant about how his video for Touch the Sky should have won, saying, if I don't win the award show, it loses credibility. Wow. Fucking Kanye. No wonder nobody heard about it. it how do we never Awards. see that, though? The That video? Yeah. Well, I guess 2009 wasn't like huge in social media uh 2006 is actually right. when that happened wasn't much yeah. social media around true it. It facebook yeah zanga 16 i was 16. was youtube around back then i don't I know i think probably just starting yeah i think so all right let's end on some quick fire facts first all right anthony michael hall's uh real name is michael anthony hall what <laughs> That's funny. That's weird. LFM- LMFAO is made up of an uncle and a nephew. Seriously? Yeah. Who's who? I thought those guys were the same age. I thought they were just brothers. Uh. Well, no, one's darker than the other. Friends? No, but uncle still, and brother. <laughs> or uncle and uncle nephew. Uncle and nephew, yeah. They're still yeah, related. Paul McCartney once was once arrested and deported from Germany on suspicion of arson after he lit a condom on fire, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> get uh, this thing away from me uh it's not my jizz hey jude <laughs> mccartney <What? laughs> uh, mccartney was also arrested and deported from japan after being caught with a half a pound of weed Ooh. wow interesting I get high with a little help from my friend there we go there we yeah. go uh paul rudd's parents are actually second cousins oh no I wonder why he's so nice. He's, he's beautiful. He's kind of he marted. He's gorgeous. He's my one of my favorite <laughs> actors. I think he's good. I would say he's. He was good in uh, Ghostbusters. He is. He's great in everything. Yeah. Have you ever seen a bad Paul Rudd movie? No. Name one. Name one. I probably have. I don't know. I probably haven't actually. He was in Great and Clueless, dude. Yeah. Uh, Pierce Brosnan. 
used to do a fire breathing act in the circus after learning the trick in 1969. Oh, shit. He's that old? Yeah. Yeah, of course he's that old. He's probably like... He looked like... Yeah, but if he learned the trick in 1969 and started doing it... He's probably 10. In 1999, when he was like Bond, I'm guessing that's when he, he was, was like Bond. 40? 45? Almost 50, probably? 40? Yeah, he was old as a Bond. Whatever. An old Bond. Christopher Walken worked as a trainee lion tamer at 16. Oh, shit. Hey. That's uh, where they met. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to attempt that anymore. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, the Hey, lion. <laughs> Can you hey, be tamed <laughs> for me? Uh, there you go. That's pretty horrible. good. No, it was horrible. <laughs> Danny DeVito used, used to be a hairdresser. Really? And he would sometimes uh, do dead women's the hair. The hairdressing chairs are taller than he is. <laughs> That's why you have the lever on him to <laughs> lower him all the way. No, I mean, even at their lowest status. Yeah, it's true. Uh, did you hear the last part? Even on dead women and their hair for funerals? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and also, Whoopi Goldberg, that dude used to do corpse makeup. That dude? Yeah. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg, yeah. That's a chick. You ever listen to Free Bear and Hot Wings? They always call Whoopi Goldberg a dude. Really? Yeah. Why? Is it just a running joke? She looks and sounds like a dude now, I guess. Oh. Yeah, it was a running joke for years. I don't remember that. You're an asshole. <laughs> Ooh, this one's interesting. Mick Jagger has a son who is younger than his great-grandchild. Oh, God. Kind of disgustingly hot. No, in it's a sense. disgustingly Kinda disgusting. Kind of turns me on. And finally, this one's small. Why would you put this one small on the last one? But I think it's hilarious. Uh, five SOS once crashed. I don't know who Five SOS is. Once crashed, crashed Justin Bieber's party and claimed uh, he had his own album on loop for like two or three hours. What the fuck? Wow. What a horrible way to end the article. <laughs> it is. That was stupid. Five SOS once crashed Bieber's party and claimed he had his own album on loop for like two or three hours. He claimed. It, it wasn't oh, the same effect. So it was kind of like the usher playing music while he's having sex. And right. It's, it's Justin having his own party and just playing his own music. Yeah. Maybe it was an album release party. Wait a minute. Oh, Bieber had his own music playing when that guy crashed the party? Yeah. Oh, I thought 5SOS played his music at the party. Yeah, it was a little confusing. Yes. Um, but that's it's that's how it baby, read. Baby, 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 oh! <laughs> yeah, that's all I got, baby. Is it too late to say I'm sorry? Because I'm missing no. more than just your body. Ooh, somebody likes a little beebs in their life. I like a couple songs. Yeah, I like I'm Sorry and I like... Uh, Where are you now that I need you? You like the sad ones. Yeah. I like the... Uh, I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh, yeah. I never heard that one. I got my peaches out in Georgia. It's on the radio all the time. I well, got my used peaches out in Georgia? It's called Peaches. Huh, millions of them. For me. Oh, wait. Yeah, I get my... I get my I'll get my pieces out in Georgia. I'll get my weed from California. That's that shit. That's why you like it. He talks about weed. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's my jam. That's my jam. Weed jam. This is my peanut butter. This is my jam. Hot damn. P. Diddy. Meek Mill's ass getting crammed. With that P. Diddy dick. Nice. And... Brett's watching the video, listening to Ball Slap. That's no, no more rhyming in that one. <laughs> oh, just stay stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right. Well, I'm at the Brahengla Hayes. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm at Are the Van Glaze. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, uh, I guess we should probably do a post show. Probably. Yeah. I've got articles. You got farticles? Yes, I do. <laughs> Can't believe that took us the whole show. I'm glad it did. Yeah, gore job. Gorgeous. I'm at the Brahengla Hayes. I'm at the. Where did that? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, it didn't seem right, though. Oh, okay. I was kind of joking until I figured out that we're out for 45 minutes. Don't go to thebenglaze.com for comedy dates. I'm not no longer doing comedy. I'm just focusing on my rap game. Really? No, I'm joking. I kind of believe you, though. Well, I kind of want to. Hmm. I wish I had more time to make music. Maybe you should just stick to comedy. No, I like. I think you rap. I did so better at rap. Heat. Oh yeah, probably. But yeah, there's so many rappers out there. You know. Yeah, I know. There's, there's also, also a lot so many comedians. comedians. <laughs> All right, I'm at the Brahengla Hayes. <laughs> right, I'm at the Brahengla. Bye, fuckers. <laughs>